listening? Mm -hmm. Don't say it aloud. I did not play the second one. They sound really similar. <laughs> do they? They do. <laughs> no, seriously, I can't tell the difference from here. Maybe it's because this thing is over my ears. Yes, I would have no idea. Not having it in my hands. Maybe like if you're right in front of me or something. Okay, well, maybe take the blindfold off. So the first guitar was that guitar. It's hard to tell, like, oh, like sitting next to it, projecting that one. And way. then the second guitar was also that guitar. <laughs> I was like, there's no difference. <laughs> And then the third guitar was this guitar. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to screw with you. That's why well, I figured. Well, no you know, I, I didn't. That didn't cross my mind that that might happen until the second guitar came. I was like, "That's this. Mm. There's no difference." <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Nate and Andrew here. And in this video, we are gonna compare this $5,000 Callings to this $275 Orangewood. So Andrew, what's the difference between a $5,000 guitar and a $275 guitar? I mean, to be honest, not a ton. They both play, they both sound <laughs> both good. They both guitars, they both have six strings. Yeah. Exactly. But when we dive a little bit deeper, there's a few things that you will kind of find that you're paying for. So the first thing that we'll probably wanna talk about is uh, laminate versus solid back and size and top, right? That's the biggest thing to me as far as you know, not necessarily with a $5,000 guitar, but you know, paying more for a guitar in general. Right, right, absolutely. So this guitar is all solid wood. This is solid spruce top, uh, solid mahogany back and sides. And this guitar is a solid top, right? Yep. And then it's got, a, uh, it's, so, it's solid spruce, mm -hmm. and then the laminated rosewood back and sides. And the biggest thing to me on a guitar, I don't care if it's $200, if it has a solid top on it, mm -hmm. that's gonna put it, you know, head and shoulders above a guitar that's plywood or laminate. Mm -hmm. for the top and like having a solid wood guitar like yours Andrew is probably one of the biggest factors to bumping up the costs yep. like this is laminate so it's only $275 back in size if this were a solid back in size guitar mm -hmm. I would think it would cost at least eight to a thousand yeah generally speaking so it affects not only um, the cost of the guitar but it affects the sound of the guitar too especially the top that's right uh, another thing that we probably want to talk about is country of origin so country of origin this guitar is all completely handmade in the united states this one i believe it's made in china mm -hmm. uh, or somewhere overseas like that and then it's set up in the united states which which helps it, it plays climate. really nicely it's very comfortable absolutely um, but that does obviously labor costs are very different in both of those countries also it's a much smaller team of people working on guitars like these i was uh the Collings factory is like eight eight miles from my parents house so i went and took a tour there like i don't know eight or nine years Years ago it was amazing. In Texas, there was like almost no automation going, just a bunch of artisans doing everything by hand. It was really cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, this company, uh, th they've been making guitars for a very long time. This is a very new company. Mm. Um, so they're kind of new on the market. So that also is gonna affect prices mm. a little bit as well. Another thing that um, will kind of affect the price of the guitar is going to be like, Collings Guitars goes out and sources their wood. They get mm. the best materials that they possibly can. Not to say that, um, you know, overseas made guitars don't get good materials, but this is like grade A, 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 A stuff. This might be grade A or grade A, you know, right. and that really will affect the cost. Right. right, and not only the cost, it does to an extent also yeah. affect the tone, mm -hmm. right? Like all the things that we've mentioned so far, uh, this guitar is gonna be a little bit louder. It's yeah. gonna have a, a wider frequency range. It's gonna sound bigger. Um, and we are gonna make sure that in the clips that you're hearing that those are level matched so that you can hear kind of the best and closest representation to what our ears are hearing in the room.
So the biggest question is, is it worth it to spend $5,000 on a guitar? Is it good enough to get a $275 guitar? And the answer is it depends. It depends on your situation. I always like to recommend that people, especially you know, being in sales for a long time working in a music store, I like to recommend that people spend as much money as possible to, is that they can on their acoustic guitar because they're gonna be spending a lot of time with it. If it sounds good and it feels good, you're gonna be more inspired to sit down with it and you're gonna get better faster. You're just gonna enjoy it more. So, I would recommend spending as much as you can. And it may not be $5,000, it may be $1,200, but I right. think um, on acoustic guitars particularly, like the point where things start to diminish or you get diminishing returns is around $2,000 or $2,500. Okay. It's where, you know, after that it's kind of like personal preference. Up to that point, I would say anything, eh, $2,000, mm -hmm. you're gonna get a lot more for money every time you bump up a few hundred bucks. Yes, yeah. that's very true. And I do think, uh, if you've been playing a very long time, I've been playing my entire life, it can be worth it to invest a little bit more in your instruments and stuff. If you're a newer player, spend spend as much as you can on a, on a guitar. And if that's $200, that's fine. Absolutely yeah. fine, especially you got guitars like this. There's other yeah. companies that make great guitars around that price point. Um, but it's okay to invest in your hobbies. Yeah. I always like to compare it to uh, guys who buy dirt bikes, right? It's an expensive hobby. <laughs> uh, so, Nate, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it to spend $5,000 on a guitar? The guitar I play is around $4,000. So okay. I think it personally is because I spend a lot of time playing guitar and I enjoy it. And I can tell the difference, maybe not between a $2,000 and a $4,000 guitar, but I sure can tell the difference between a $400 or $500 guitar and a $1,400 guitar. Yeah. Right. So I think it's worth it to spend a little bit extra within reason, you know, don't kill yourself for the month and, you know, eat cat food why you spend all your money on guitar or anything like that. But. Exactly. Yeah. Buy within your means, yeah. absolutely. But remember, like, there's tons of great guitars out there at literally every More than ever time. before, man. More so. than ever before. And they just seem to be getting better and better, yeah. right? So, we want to know from you guys, what do you think? $5,000 Callings, $275 Orangewood. Which one sounded better? Do you think that this is worth more money? Does it sound better to you? Leave your answer in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.